Hello guys. Well, in the previous unit, we saw about how a zone is formed. First of all, what is a zone, and how a zone is formed, and what are all the two important zones? What are all the two important zones like supply and demand zones, and how they are formed? And today, now in this session, we'll be learning how to trade the supply and demand zones. What is the price action behind each zones? Okay, well, uh, whenever a stock comes to a zone, for example, there is there will be a supply zone and there will be a what what we call a demand zone. So whenever the price comes to supply zone, it will get rejected because there are too many sellers. Or sometimes it will get accepted and it will go up. Or it will reject it and it will come to the demand zone. So whenever it comes to the demand zone, either it gets accepted and it will go down. Or it will get accepted and it will go up. Or the moment it touches the demand zone, it will reject. So these are all the potential movement of a stock when it comes to a supply or demand zone. Okay. So is the price is getting accepted or is the price is getting rejected? Is what we are going to learn in this unit. Okay. First of all, what is an acceptance, or how can we define if this price action is an acceptance? Okay. Let us assume we have a like a supply zone, a strong supply zone here, and our price is going up to the supply zone. For the price to get accepted in this region, what it has to do? It has to spend some time. Assume this is a five minutes candle, or you can take any candle, okay? And it has to spend some time for acceptance, okay? And it also has to spend some volume, okay? If the both Time and volume is seen in a demand zone. It is accepted. The current price is accepted. Okay, so that is what the core of acceptance which we are going to see. When a market accepts certain price level, it spends some time and volume to either accumulate or distribute. So since it is a supply zone, it could be a Uh, it could be a distribution or it could be a accumulation. We do not know it. Okay. Once the accumulation or distribution is over, the price will continue its trend. So what does it mean? What is the current trend? The current trend is uptrend. So if the accumulation is over, it will go up. Or if it is distributing, it will come down. Okay. So. To confirm the acceptance of the zone, what it will do, if it is if it is the acceptance and if it is going to go up, what will happen? Once again, we will draw the zone. So now this is your zone. Okay. So the price is going to the supply zone. Okay. And after going, it will spend some time. Okay, so in this case, while we are studying about the market profile or volume profile, there is a concept called POC, which you will learn after learning the architecture of volume profile in the next module. So there is a concept called POC that is the most prominent point of control. That is the most accepted price in the supply zone. If the POC of each day Is moving up, which means the price is getting accepted, and also the trend is going to continue. 
let me repeat it again you have a zone of supply okay you have a zone of supply and the price is going up to the supply zone price is spending some time and you do not know whether it is going to go up or go down in that case what we will be saying there is a concept called poc which you will learn in the next unit if that poc is forming higher highs okay which means the higher prices are getting accepted and the stock is going to go up on the reverse case if the poc is forming lower lows on the demand zone the price is getting accepted but it is the sellers are distributing the stocks so it is going to go down you got my point so i am using different words do not get confused we are learning about acceptance in acceptance the price can either continue with the trend or the price can reject it from the trend okay if it is going to continue with the trend the poc has to shift with the trends okay or if it is going to reject from the trend it is poc has to shift against the trend okay so this is this is how you have to find acceptance along with time and volume okay so let's see an example sorry okay <clears throat> So this is the volume profile chart, and you will see the its architecture and its denotation and reference reference line in the next unit. For why you just understand that if it is a bigger D shape, it has more volume. Okay, see here it has more volume, then less volume and more volume. Okay, here the volume is very low, and only this point has higher volume. so it has this all these denotes volume okay so this is a supply zone why do i say supply zone the price has moved away from the zone moved down so this is a supply zone again the price is trying to go up you see here a green line here it is trying to go up but you see the volume it spent is very less which is rejection we will see in the next in the in the same course we'll see as the next topic again the price is coming to the supply zone you see a greater volume is spent here also a greater volume is spent which means the price is getting accepted so after the price is getting accepted is it going to continue with the trend or is it going to rejected with the trend to know that we have to check the poc of volume profile see the prominent point is here and again the prominence point is shifting again the prominence point is there and here so the on the overall the poc is higher which mean the stock will still go high okay so while while trading the acceptance one can check for the following okay so in the above diagram what you have seen is we formed a zone we formed a zone and we got we should check for uh, a breakout and we should check for a breakout test so i'll explain what is breakout and breakout test first if it is just a breakout then the trend is strong if it is breakout test then the trend is very strong so this is breakout of <coughs> breakout of zone and testing of zones okay okay what is breakout you have a supply zone okay and what is happening the stock is moving to the supply zone getting accepted and it is breaking out okay you can trade it because it has broken and it will give a long spike you can get profitable but we would never do that because we have some more strategy so you have a supply zone you the price is getting accepted let it break out okay after a while 
a stock has to come to the breakout region to check if the breakout is strong you go for any stock you go for any stock after a breakout a stock will never ever go with the continuation of the trend it will come again and test the region if the trend is really strong i repeat if the trend is really strong a breakout if you miss the breakout trade i will never suggest you to do breakout trade and if the trend is very strong the stock after breaking out will come to its region it will test the region and then it will continue with the trend so that is the real trend so this trend will have a greater move compared to this small breakout okay that is why i say that if you if you do trading on the breakout test zones your strength of the trend is very strong on the other hand if you do just the breakout trade your trend is just strong not very strong you get my point okay the next thing is we have to check if there are any other technical indicators playing on the zones if there are any pivot lines or if there is any vwap signals so how to combine volume profile with these two indicators you'll see in the next units of this course for now you just understand that if if there is a pivot line or if there is a vwap forming in this supply or demand zone then they are very strong signal for acceptance or rejection okay so for now you just have in mind we will see in a detailed manner in the next unit okay okay and next is rejection so rejection is obviously a uh, contradictory to acceptance wait a minute okay so the one thing which is very important in rejection is in acceptance uh, a stock will try to spend some time on the zones okay if if for example if the stock is moving towards a supply zone one minute if the stock is moving towards a supply zone it will get accepted because there are equal number of buyers and sellers as we said explained in the previous unit but in the other case if the stock is going to the supply zone and it is getting suddenly rejected which means the sellers are very much active in that supply zone and they don't want the price to be accepted in that region okay so they spend less volume so this is a very important thing in rejection and very important difference between acceptance so the stock will never ever spend time and volume on the rejection zone okay this will happen for both uh supply zone and demand zone so consider this is a demand zone what will happen is the stock will come to the demand zone suddenly a uh, more number of buyers will come in and those buyers will reject the price to the top and it is also good it is also good to trade the rejection zone on spot it will also test the region but rejection we can trade on spot okay hello guys sorry for interrupting in between the video i had to post this short video in inside this video because people are not following some share, shared media so the thing is i have launched a video on volume profile course i have launched a complete course this video which you are seeing right now that is the acceptance and rejection is one of those video in the courses i have more than 12 videos with 3 hours of intensive coaching and many quizzes to teach the volume profile concept in a good clarity 
i am posting the link of the course in the description below please do uh, understand that this course is very important as you have seen in my telegram channel that i use the volume profile very much to do my trading and if you if you understand the importance of volume profile subscribe to my course and i hope you will definitely enjoy the course after completing it in addition to the course you will be given access to the pro channel of discord where you will be you will be interacting directly with us you you get to know all our strategies and stock picking strategies and trading strategies and we will discuss about all our strategies which we are doing during intraday trading i have also explained all my strategies in the courses so this courses will be available anytime anywhere and it is a lifetime access please do watch the course thank you <coughs>
okay so when the vwap and pivots are there when a zone is getting rejected which means the zone is very strong okay the volume is also supporting at the same time the price is also supporting okay so uh, one thing i want to register is when i say rejection you should not check only for shorting option see all these things are shorting so i am not mentioning shorting alone rejection can happen for buying if there is a demand zone uh, what can happen is stock can come down without spending volume and time it will get rejected okay which means we can go long on the rejection also okay okay so on the next unit we will be studying about the architecture of volume profile what are all its reference points okay what are the reference points like pvc hvns and lvns and what is my strategy using vwap and pivot points and how to use confluence of all these indicators in your intraday trading so that uh, so you will be following my in the intraday channel in telegram so almost almost all the calls are getting succeeded so how i am i getting succeeded so what is my intraday chart setups and all those things you will be learning in the upcoming units uh, we'll we'll meet in the next unit thanks